Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming where we are continuing our Parthia Let's Play on Rome Total War Remastered. Now this is episode 9 I believe, we're about 24 turns in um, and this is all we've conquered. Now last time we only took uh, Palmyra, we didn't take any other settlements uh, but we did fight a series of large battles in Syria against the Egyptians. We took out three of their large armies and they're still equal to us on military which is quite surprising really. Uh, but I'm hoping next turn we can take out Pontus, and then uh, we'd probably be able to take out Seleucia by this, at the end of this episode, hopefully, if we go from Pontus to Seleucia. Now, if they have Lycia still, then it might be a bit longer, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, first things first, we need to make sure we retrain this army and set them out with a new general, because we lost the general. Um, yeah, we're getting two new generals up this way. Uh, because he's going to die soon. Um, and then the rest of you guys are going to come down, aren't you? Yeah, cool. So, let's end the episode, uh, end the turn here, and let's see what happens. End the episode. Well, oh, yep, yeah, we're going to fight Scythia. Well, ah, God, guys, two lots of war dogs. Now, the thing that we're going to have to do here is use the Eastern Infantry to, to soak up all, nearly all of the... The war dogs power because they are an absolute nightmare to deal with absolute nightmare um horrendous um so yeah we're gonna have to use the uh the east infantry the problem is they might break <laughs> which which would not be good um the problem is with the war dogs as well if you if you make them route they don't actually route the dogs still keep on going until you've killed them all so you need to kill them all yeah, we don't care about your uh, speech because it's pointless. Right, we're going to be quite conservative with our horse archers then, initially. Um, we're going to keep these guys all together, like quite fat group together. And we're going to keep... So this is the first time we're going to go out and not actually try and harass the enemy straight away. And unless they do that, which then we will. So we have seven units of horse archers. Should be able to beat their two, even on this difficulty. Should easily be able to beat their two, hopefully. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll see, won't we? Um, but yeah, let's keep getting these eastern infantry forward. We also need to take out that general with the amount of arrows we have. Um, so once everyone's firing, that's good. I prefer it this way than them. They're going to charge in with those. Uh, with the general there it looks like right everyone come over here and hopefully you'll just fire at the general spearman that's the one good thing right let's get in here so we can shoot at the general while he's uh, fighting our eastern infantry you guys get out around the back you guys get around the back general's routing get him get him get him Awesome. How did our Eastern Infantry kill him? I guess it's the bonus. I would like to charge him down. If we can. That's he's the last one alive there. Like, get going, guys. Please. Surely he's going to die. Look at the amount of arrows going into him. Surely. Surely he's going to die. Get up there. Now Eastern Infantry block. We need to get rid of him. I know it's going to use a lot of arrows. Surely look at the amount of arrows he's getting hit by. Come on. How many arrows does he need to take? How many hit points has General got? There. Brilliant. Wait. Don't worry about this. Get into these guys. The problem is now, it looks like the war dogs are going to be after our horses. So let's get them away. Let's get them all away. Unless they're retreating, which would be great. They are withdrawing. Great, great, great. Great. 
Let's get here. Let's go. Doesn't matter, it's not a real general. Right, let's get rid of these guys. Problem is now, even though they're routing, I think the war dogs will still attack. Now it looks like we've just killed them because they routed instantly rather than releasing the dogs. Yeah, it looks like because they didn't release the dogs, like we've just killed them instantly. Also, well done, Eastern Infantry. You're, you're not as shit as I thought you were. You took out a general somehow. <laughs> I guess just spears. Like the only thing I can think of is the fact that they're spears. Go, go, go. Okay, that went a lot better than what I thought. They still killed 91 though. But, you know what? It's a lot better than the last time we fought War Dogs. They didn't release them. That's what they should have done. They should have released them to do havoc once we uh, were close by to their uh, horse archers. But they didn't. So, good for us. Great. That is awesome. Hopefully, we might get the chance to adopt a new general there. That would be amazing. Looks like Egypt just tried to bribe that general. Dickheads. Oh, yeah, the Seleucids have a big army. I forgot about that coming around. Uh, well, that'll be fine because we're going to retrain that army in Antioch and then we can go take care of those guys. Yeah, Pontus, what do you want to do? Uh, okay, you're going to attack Sinope. Whatever, you... you, you they, so they won't build any siege equipment that first turn. Just a tip for you guys. They won't... The AI doesn't build siege equipment on the first turn in this game. So basically, um, you've got one extra turn in sieges compared to uh, compared to them. The man of the hour. Yep, yeah, please. Brilliant. New son. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a name. Darayavahu. Darayavahu. Of Saramana. Um, we could go and retrain these guys. Uh, I'd prefer to just keep on moving, honestly. I think we're moving down here as well, aren't we? And let's build that. Do we have any good... Oh, yep. Let's get these. This is a bit of a waste of money, though. Also, mercenary hoplites is quite nice. Oh, well, we'll get them. So, we need Sinope. So, yeah. So, let's have a look here. So I haven't built any siege equipment yet, obviously, but they've just laid siege to it. So we're going to come here. We're going to recruit some siege equipment. It just means we have to attack next turn. Um, and hope that that is the last, uh, the last territory of uh, Pontus. Actually, we can have a look. Uh, where's Pontus? We go to territory. Is that one or two? That could be one. Twelve of those or six of those. I think that's one. <laughs> I, I hope it's one. Um, might not be. Uh, in which case, we might be in a bit of trouble. In which case, we'll keep these here. And if we are, we'll go attack them after we've taken it. Let's get into Ankira. Um... And come forward. Actually, we'll go here and build a we'll build a watchtower. What mercenaries are available? What are these guys? Oh, barbarians. That's fine. So we are the most advanced faction somehow. We must have had a, a building construct. So that's Antioch. Yeah, Antioch all the recruitment. Arsakia got a bit of money. Uh, let's get law up. Seeing as we moved our capital. Uh, wait. Nope, I don't want to view the settlement. I meant to press on this. Yeah, we've got a lot of corruption up here now because uh, we moved our capital. Also, Frasper's unhappy. Everything's unhappy up here. I why that is. Um, right, we'll bring you guys down. Oh, we should get a boat. Just one. 
Uh, well, probably two actually. We probably have time enough for two, just so that we don't get destroyed by all those guys. Frasper, we will build build some walls. We might have spies in there. That might be why. Um, Hatra, go for the market. Sinope, um, I know you're getting under siege, but we'll do that. Uh, actually, we don't need that because you are under siege. And then Tarsus, do that. And Ankira, yeah, Ankira is pointless as well. Um, so we only have a couple of places not building. That's fine. We're not really recruiting anywhere. Actually, we need to we need to cancel something. Yeah, we don't need that at Frasper. Because we need to retrain all these guys. Um, we need to stop recruiting a few things then. We need to stop recruit, stop building something else as well. Where else did we build that was not important? Susa, Hatra. How are, how are these settlements? They're still happy. That's good. Palmyra. Hmm. I still don't like that. That Damascus army might get rid of the one at Hatcher then, and I don't really need the Hillman. Although, do we? Okay, let's retrain one anyway. It's only four four units. It's not a huge deal. One or two Pontic settlements. That is the question. You're making zero, so you don't actually need to be here. This is still rebel territory, so Pontus shouldn't have anything else. Unless they've sailed up to here. Um, oh well, let's uh, go get silver. Unless there's anything in Ankira. Textiles, that'd be fine. That large Seleucid army is still there. Not a huge scare, but it's fine. I have confidence that our four units can beat that one. Right, we need to take Damascus. Hmm. We've got four command, four influence. We've only got three influence with our general. Ah. How big is Damascus? It's still only a large town. If we do it, we're going to have to manage it really well. But their chariots just won't be able to really move. That's the one big thing. The thing is, do they not think they're stronger than us because they're chariots? Oh well, we're going to have to go fight this. I want to get rid of the Seleucids as quick as possible, especially the fact that they've got that big army there. They are very annoying, and they have annoyed us very much since the start. So let's do it. Let's let's get rid of, get rid of them. And I don't like the fact that they're out there taunting us and still alive when we need to be concentrating on Egypt. We need to concentrate on Egypt. I think we might just put f like five horse archers in at a time. It's going to take a lot longer, uh, which isn't great to watch or anything like that. But it's it's too with those chariots in there. It's too busy to be messing around with um, like putting them all in and moving them and all that stuff it's just gonna be a mess so let's do that right get in there you guys get over here and let's see whether you can uh, attack those side chariots the side chariots over there might come along here, though. Okay. Um. Well, once the um, yeah, the chariots really are the the chariots and the two generals. I actually don't want you to fire at anything. Okay, half of you can fire at will. You guys can't. Yeah, fine if you want to fire at the little. Phalanx, actually, pointless. Don't fire at them because they're just right behind the wall. You're not going to hit anything. It's going to be tough.
Right, yep, fire. So, so I've only got three units of militia hoplites. I forgot how many of each thing they have. Oh wait, there's a guy outside the walls. Is there? What the hell? Okay, it just thinks that this, it just looks like that unit's outside the walls. Mm. Yeah, fire on those guys if you can, if you want to. We've got two generals to contend with though. I only have one and this is very hard. Yeah, let's use the, uh, let's use these guys while we can. I don't know why you aren't firing still. Uh, it doesn't matter if these guys get uh, get routed or anything like that. So, they're not going to be able to do anything until they get their full contingent there as well. So, hopefully, we can start firing at them first. Quick, come on. And hopefully we can... Oh my god, how are you routing? Overwhelming number of enemies or something? Quite surprising, really. Okay, let's uh, get ready. I was going to say, if they get down here, we'll be able to start firing at them. Not really killing many. We don't have a lot of experience. That's another thing with this... this uh, these guys, they don't have much experience, but hopefully we're building it up. Wait, 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 wait. Get away, get away, get away, get away. While you're there, fire at these guys. You should all be able to fire at them. They might be, they might go mental. That's the one thing. That's the one saving grace that we have here. You guys all go here. Um, yep, yeah, our slingers have gone as. Yeah, this is uh, tricky. Hmm. Yeah, very tricky, especially when they're that close. Right, let's go with... Uh, actually, we need to push these guys away from the walls, so let's put that on. We'll have a few guys firing. Okay, you're under attack. So, come over here. Um... You guys go here again. You guys go here. Let's see where I can get four in there. Four seems a reasonable number. That is close though. There, like they can get in either way. That's the one issue. So maybe we go around this way. Maybe put the whole army around that way. You get there. You guys need to get up there. Ah, so frustrating. Like move, get through the gate. See, this is why we should we're only putting four in at a time. You guys get over there as quick as possible, please. Okay, that side chariot is on the way. The side that side chariot has lost the chariot, so that's good. They still have two generals bodyguards though, and one of them has got forty-seven, which is a large amount. Um, right, you guys, no more. You guys, get over there if you can. Um, yeah, that was dangerous, but 
Hmm. It's just so tough in cities with these guys. Alright, yeah. Turn that on. Fire at the scythe chariots. Yep, they're gonna uh, gonna charge after us. It's quite good actually. Get to fire at them. Might have to move these guys in in groups of two. Or what they're firing at still probably the scythe chariots. Yep, cool. Right. See, the pro like it's also bad for them because their scythe chariots just are also rubbish, like uh, running around cities. How many of these are firing still? Oh my god, no, no, no. No, no. Get out, get out, get out. Not yet. We do not want you to be doing this yet. Actually, we'll come in the middle, because uh, less likely to get shot. That looks like a general's bodyguard. Oh, yeah, it's Michelin Cavalry. Um, actually, these guys are coming to... Yeah, let's come down here. Yeah, we should be able to get a couple of good volleys off here. It's actually quite good for us right now. It's just chaos inside there. Should be firing at the side chariots, really. Get away, get away. They've got a nice little group together now. Where's all the arrows going? That's... Oh, they've got mental. Good, good, good. Get away. Hopefully they can go and make all the rest of the chariots mental. We don't want to be in their way when they come around here. Definitely not. <laughs> right, now. Now we've done that with that little this little strike force. Let's get down here. See if we can make this one mental. Come on, get in this town centre. I oh, know those ones have gone mental as well. Oh, no. Where are they going? Please attack your own people. No. Okay, yep, that's good. We'll run through them. Don't really want to waste any more ammo on those guys. Yep, you guys. See? I just want to see how much damage these guys can do, but it doesn't look like much because the, the, their pathing is just too bad. <laughs> Kill that one, yeah, fine. Okay, they've gone out. I'm going to put that back on. I'm going to try and get in there now. Who's this? Militia cavalry, fine. Yeah, are they routing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's all go here. This is a problem, you have to individually place each unit. Like, these units are just not even small enough to even go in these places. <laughs> Like, it's, it's silly, really, when you think about it. Um, right. Okay. These five stay here. These four. Yeah, that's fine. They actually don't have much ammo left. Um, let's get these guys down this way. Okay, they are moving now. Okay, you stay here, actually. Need general in here. I need to make that side chariot go crazy. Okay. 
They should be getting shot at now. Right, let's see. Jesus, this is not going to be good whenever they come around that corner. Might have to do that. Get out. Might have to run them around, which would actually be fine. What's this? Scythe chariots. Get away, get away, get away. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Yep, get out. You get out as well. Right, you guys. Get over here. You're faster than them, so let's go. Be able to run them around, I think. Those 23 versus my 26. No, nope, not going to work. Not going to work at all. Right, you guys. Let's get out. Let's chase. Let's chase this general bodyguard if we can. Get around this way. Actually, you guys. You might be able to even just go in here now. Get out, get out, get out, get out, go, 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 go. Get around this way, get around this way. Get over there. Okay, this is intense now. It's intense. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Literally just random quits all the time. Stop. It's random quitting all the time. It's really annoying, the recording software. Oh, well, if we can just run these guys around, it should be quite good for us. That scythe chariot, be good to... Uh-oh. Uh so much going on right now. Get away. Keep firing at those guys. Come back over here. I want you to just charge into them and I'll sacrifice you. I don't really care. You will be sacrificed. You get up that way. You three down here. We like surrounding them now. It's, it's just a matter of time really. Should be shredding these guys now. Get in them. Get into them. Don't care about missiles. Charge them. Get rid of this general. Big thing. Everyone get in there. General get in here. That general is a real pain. We only have 24 minutes left. That's one of the big issues here. Um, get there, get there. So we can actually fire at these guys for, for a second. Who's that? Oh, get out of there. Get out, get out. Okay. So this is pretty intense. Not going to lie. It wouldn't be if those were a field battle. It'd be so easy. It's just so hard to fight these guys in the city. Who are you? Um. 
Yeah, that's the general's bodyguard. Go attack him. Actually, we're all getting here. Get in there if you can. That'd be good. Uh, the, the question is now: Do we have enough power to be able to take on that general's bodyguard? And I still don't think we do. We need to come here if we can. We're going to have to have enough power soon because we've basically run out. Actually, do you know what? Let's go let's surround these guys. Let's surround these fools. Get up here. You do not want to be fighting that militia hoplite. You go fight that scythe chariot. Surround him. Let's go. Full on surround sound time, baby. Ooh, I like the different colours of horses. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I don't want the general in there really for too long. As long as he stays at the back. They might charge the scythe chariots in it. If I was them, that's what I would do right now, but they are the AI. Kill him. Right, it's mass time. Charge over his corpse and kill him. Yeah, we will do that. We will try. We will probably surround these guys as well. Now, all we can do is, is hope that we don't all rout, uh, which doesn't look like it's a very good hope right now. This is, everyone is broken. Oh my days. Literally one unit left. One unit. They're running a mock. Okay, that's fine. It's actually good. Right, everyone out. Everyone who doesn't who isn't routing, get out. Everyone get out. Everyone get out. Everyone out. Get away from those chariots. How is he routing? It is. Absolute disgrace. Why are they running that way? What are they doing? Right, I don't... Ugh. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid idiots. No, don't run. I don't want you to run. You need to rest. These guys are not routing anymore. I need that imp th those guys to go and kill that, and we will be done. Not going to happen, though, looking like it. Let's go there. We do need to run now. I don't want to be anywhere near that. I don't want to be anywhere near that chariot. That is ridiculous that it did that. Absolutely ludicrous. You had like it fully surrounded, overwhelmingly large numbers more than it, and everyone routed. What an absolute joke. That's so stupid. How did we not? Oh, God. Ridiculous. We've not got a huge amount of time left. Good God, we've lost a lot of troops. That's all in that as well. All, all of it during that. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you know what? We need to get up here, and then we're going to have a rest for a bit. And then... Yo, where's that other... Where's their troop gone? Um, where's, 
Where's their troops? Is it just that one still? Like, does that still... Oh, no. Uh, we couldn't see it, I was going to say. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just stay here. Just stay here for a bit. And hopefully they will come towards us. Let them rest. They better not break fighting militia hoplites. That's all I can say. Might just these militia hoplites might just break from overwhelming numbers if we get close enough to them. Doubt it though. If we still had a little bit of ammo, it would be so useful right now. Try and draw them out because now it means we're gonna have to kill them all without breaking, which is not ideal. I'd rather not be exhausted, I'd rather be... How come you've just gone down twice and these have only gone down, not even gone down once? Come on, just get, just get, okay, very tired now, that one's gone down. Shaken, how are you shaken? These guys are eager and steady, it's probably because the general's right by. The problem is, if one of them breaks... They all will break. This is going down to the wire again. All because of morale as well. Like. How, like why won't this. Okay very tired now. Let's go to about five minutes. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go forward. Five minutes on the clock that is. They have poor morale, like we just need to get them off the town center, town square, and I think they will break. Get these guys around. You go there. I need to use his rally if they start breaking. Are they going to move or not? we what if we tease them here what if we go here or something do they want to move <gasps> looks like they might these guys are shaking though Come off the square. Come off the square. Right, we're just going to have to go for it. Come from you. Just stay here. Actually, go, go up there. Go up there! Get away. Do not charge... Right, you rally. Come on, let's not break. Oh God, they did more, but they did more damage, and I'm assuming, yeah. Look at those scythe chariots. If that hadn't have happened, I didn't know what what else could we have done in that scenario, though. Like we literally charged them with every single thing we had, and we surrounded them fully killed as many as we could and everyone broke including our own general which is just embarrassing you should get some traits from that surely like bloody or something because of how bloody that battle was though right. because of that you will be exterminated damascus i'm sorry um but it's what you deserve uh get rid of that let's repair and we didn't even get any experience. There isn't... I, I don't want to risk merging many of these guys. So let's do that. And let's get a peasant so that we can leave when we need to. But we won't be leaving for a couple of turns anyway. Um, all these guys have been retrained. Awesome. Right. I think that's everything for this turn. That was a long battle anyway. Um... Frasper. Let's find something that's actually useful that we can build. 
Okay, there we are. That's that's useful. Oh, oh well. Um, that was that was tough. New merchant. This guy. Where do you want to go? Camels is not a thing. Glass is one. I don't get how the how it works really. <laughs> I've never used merchants before. Um, don't really. I've never really played medieval too much. Yeah, confident commander for asses. You ass. I can't believe you ran away. Literally only has one. Oh my God, look at all these. He's got loads of different things. Yeah, he's he's a really, really, really bad governor, but he's it should be a good, good, uh, uh, a good commander, hopefully. Um, right, let's end the turn. See what happens. Oh look, they've brought people off a boat. Cool. So that's the Seleucids in that area dealt with. <laughs> Become protectorate. I don't want to give Tarsus. Um, if I offer a ceasefire... Oh, it's very demanding. I want your map information, though. Give me map information, and I will give you map information. Nope. <laughs> the art of the deal, obviously. Greek cities, Namidia. Namidia's got a settlement over the Egypt, most likely, still. Candidate for adoption. Ankira, he came into Ankira. Like him over here, for the armies over here. So, nope. Oh, that's a big Pontus army. That's fine though. Um, you not build a. I was going to say 200. What's that in there? Two generals and some guys. That's fine, actually. Sinope still besieged. Yep, he was there. Catias, Damascus, and then all of the people. <laughs> and, right, construction as well. Right, Antioch. Are we ready to move Antioch? Because if so... Hmm. Yeah. Right. While we're here, we only need four more to become a full stack. So, I'll take the Hillman, actually. This is one army. Nothing else needs retraining apart from the Hillman, which doesn't really matter. Oh, dear. Need one more troop. Just go with the old. Let's just get another one. <laughs> While we're here, we might as well. You guys getting there? They are going to be expensive. I'm going to keep them around just for now. Just in case. You never know. And while we're here, let's let's build up to full strength. Um, it's going to be one more turn before we can move that. Then we're going to be sieging our seed on. I want to kind of get two-pronged attack going. So let's get that army to full strength. Right, you guys get here and then we will wait for the other boat. This is important though because I think Pontus will probably uh, die after this. So cool, let's let's do the construction first. Susa. Yeah, that's a good one to do. Okay, we've got not got much money left after all that all that, that spend on armies let's go with trade caravan campus line doesn't matter Catias, antioch uh damascus let's get another shrine well that they're still happy how's palmyra yeah everyone's happy good these guys come here and build a watchtower so we can see a little bit further okay we will do next turn when we've got 200 um but yeah for now let let's go and attack these guys hmm 
shouldn't be hard. Not really. Fight a night battle just for the ambience. Don't know whether that actually affects any of the any of the stats of the people. So yeah, I don't know. Um, really don't know. Like, does it affect the stats of the archers in the night because they can't see or not? I uh, really, really don't know. Men of Athens, there is not much time for exhortation, but to the brave, a few words are as good as many. That's a good little quote, that, isn't it? Yep. It is a day of battle. Um, hmm. Probably here's best. Looking at it, also there isn't any like everywhere is quite good for just getting. We can just put our troops in close, and they'll be able to uh, do what they want, uh, and they won't get shot. Yeah, awesome. Let's go. These guys get them in close. I just need to kill the generals, really. We've got cataphracts, so they should be able to take out the generals, but I still don't want to use them. That's the problem until we've got them upgraded on armor and places where we can retrain them. Which isn't many places. Such a small city, this. Yeah, we want as few city battles as possible these days, but it's just not happening with, with what we've got. With what the enemies are doing. Let's get those four in there anyway. Hmm. Yeah, they might want to come and attack us here, which will be good for us actually. Yep, good, 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 because it looks like we're going to. Yep, keep doing it. We'll keep on probing them and like keep running outside if we can. Actually, we don't need to be doing that with four. We just need to be doing it with one and everyone else just get close. One of them, one little probing guy that they don't like. It's going to shoot at them. Yeah, cool. Looking good. Yeah, they're all going to come. Let's go. Let's get out of the way. Come on. Need to draw them a little bit closer. At the minute, it's not really working. They only have 38 left, though. I could have sworn they had 50 before. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they should have got some good volleys off on them then. Kind of feel cheap doing this, but it's what you have to do. <laughs> like, I'm not going in there getting everyone routed and losing them all again. Unless I absolutely have to, like I did last time. Well, these guys run out. Right, you get out then. Move on to the next one. Have we got a really small unit? 43 is the smallest. Actually, you could maybe go here. If you if like if the slingers get killed, like it really really doesn't matter to me. Also, get that that off. Yeah, they're getting battered, but it's kept them there for the time being. General, come forward. Oh no! Yeah, see, they're going to run away now. They're Eastern General as well, so they can actually throw uh, throw the old uh, javelins. There's only three left in that unit. Fifteen in the other. Shredding them. That was one General dead. Alright, this 36. Let's get you in. Do the same again. If we can.
get you around there. They shouldn't be able to hit us too. We should, like, yeah, I don't know. It's not the best place to be able to aim and hit someone, is it? How many javelins do they have? <laughs> Alright, you come away as well. Alright, let's get uh, next smallest unit. So you, it's 47. There we are. Hopefully they will charge as usual. Yep, looking like it. Oh, we don't want skirmish mode on. Yep, let's go. Should have been able to, should have been a big volley there, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's the only way you can really do this with uh, siege battles. Like, the siege battles are just not good for horse archers. But they're so, the horse archers are so powerful, but in siege battles, it's just annoying. When we get to large cities, though, it, it does become a lot easier with the amount of movement. With the... Uh, the cities, the best ones are the Egyptian ones with the two roads up the middle, which we've we've found out that they quite they're quite good. You get to the end as well. How many is left in that general? Five. There we are. I th I'm thinking, yeah. Let's not worry about this. Let's just go and get the general in. Everyone else, go fire at them. Um, get off skirmish mode. Who are you? Why are you here? Oh dear. You idiots! What are they doing? Why are you here as well? You go attack. Literally kill him. There we are. Stupid. They're wavering, so let's go. Get the that on so that he, the general doesn't charge directly into them. Get in there. Yes. Oh, 123 again. How? Oh, they must have been from the javelins. I was going to say, how have they inflicted any casualties, really? Didn't seem like we lost many men in that one, apart from that last ditch stupid thing. You press go, go uh, fire at the uh, fire at them, and they run it all the way into the centre, which is crazily dumb, and just uh, highlights the issues with with pathfinding. And um, yeah, exterminate again. Yes, Pontus destroyed. That means don't need to worry about any of these guys anymore. Brilliant. Uh, retrain them. And we like stables, please. <laughs> First thing we need in every settlement, stables. Um, trying to Hercules, no thanks. Public orders, brilliant. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, well, you guys are out here. You uh, might as well, well, we'll send one of you there and then we'll send the other one to build some watchtowers so that these guys We'll go stand on the watchtower rather than fight us. Yeah, cool. Now everything's night time. Nice. Yep, recruiting there. We've got 1,500. Also, Frasper. You're on low tax rate. We really need to build something that you'll like then. There is nothing that can help you. Maybe that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Faction destroyed, Pontus, great. And Adamanish, good commander, which is un unfortunate because he is going to die soon. Even though he has a great, yeah, he's got a great amount of command and stuff. So let's end this turn. Inactive spy, yeah, fine. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's moved through that area for a while. Yeah, get on those textiles or whatever they are.
keep trying to uh, bribe me, it looks like, Egypt. Not, you know, uh, it's not the, it's not like not that bad. Like it's not really going to be much of an issue, so be fine. What's this? Another candidate for adoption. Twenty four. Yep, it's fine. Ah, oh, he's already he's already over here. So we've got loads of generals over here. So at some point. I think once we've taken Anatolia, we will recruit another army, probably around Damascus. At the minute, we don't have enough income to support everything and build um, another army right now. And we seem to be doing okay with the armies we have. So let's build another one if we can. Yeah, that's good. Good vision. Uh, did we recruit a peasant? Nope, doesn't look like it. Also, we need to recruit another one of these. That's two turns, and then we re can retrain everyone, recruit another one, and be on our way. Looks like it. Um, yep, one more. Awesome. Let's get ready to take seed on then. Yeah, three more turns, and then you're done. Looking fine, looking good actually. Managed to push back nearly everyone. Uh, now we just need to take on Seleucia. You need to go. Yeah, you need to go join one of these armies down here. Do I take these? Mm, no, we probably. Yeah, we'll, we'll make another army with these down here. And we have a, a deluge, deluge of generals now, so. Uh, contrary to what I said before, we will make another army. Right, you. Uh, did I forget to move him last turn? Might have been the case. Oh, well. Recruitment report. Yep. Construction. Art Exata. Let's do construction first this turn. Before we worry about um, recruitment and all that stuff, let's go um, go with the market because it might allow us to, to get other stuff that, for happiness. I don't know. I don't know exactly the. Uh, okay, there on seventy. The uh, the building browser for all these for, for all these smaller factions that are not Rome. Catias. Yep, get that. We might as well get that now. Antioch, okay, everything's expensive. Let's go. Oh, that's 600, that's good. This, yeah, let's get that in while we can. And then we'll be building nearly everywhere. Yeah, we've got two settlements we're not building in, so productivity productivity has gone up a lot. Let's see whether they, they all run away, won't they? There we are, Tanaeus. Great. And Tanaeus doesn't even look like it's got many, many troops in there. See, this army is an expensive army for what it is, really. Because if you think about the war, we have this army. It's a 16. This one is it's smaller. Um, but it, it's doing so much more. Like, these these lands are richer. There's more settlements. Obviously, Ankira is tiny and pointless. But, you know, this army's taken Sinope, Mazaka, Ankira, and Nicomedia... In the last, say, like 10 turns. This one's taken Cam Campus Samate. Campus Alani like, it was not even in the last 10 turns. So it's, it's 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 a lot more costly to have this army up here. Um, but, it, you know, we need to fight Scythia. So we do need them up there, but it is more costly. Yep, these guys training. You guys go there. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's all looking all right. So, um, I think this has been going to be the episode. So, we will have a look at our standing. And let's look at, say, the top five factions. Which is us, Egypt, the Brutii, oh no, Gaul, Greeks, and 
Carthage. So actually the Romans are not yet in the top five factions and we're nearly on probably like 28 turns looking at it. Let's look at military. Oh, look at the Gauls go. That will all be trash armies, but Gauls won't pose a threat later on in the game with our experienced um, with cataphracts, war elephants, that sort of stuff. I don't think the Gauls will be a problem. The Greeks might be, though, with armoured hoplites because they will be hard to take out. Um, but yeah, we've just overtaken Egypt. And then there's, um, there's Carthage as well. We'll actually add in the Romans just so we can see. Um, yeah, we're still ahead of all the Romans apart from the Brutii. Production ranking, we went from like nothing to loads again. But yeah, they're all about similar. Territorial, we are the best. We have 18. Um, they're looking all right. Look at the uh, at the Gauls. Yeah, look at the Gauls. They've just stayed the same for ages, about 10. Um, everyone else doesn't have much. Look at the... Uh, like this is, they must have only like the uh, Julii. They must have literally only taken Suggesta and like Patavium or something by now. So the Scipii look like they might have only taken either nothing. Yeah, I don't think the Scipii have taken anything. Looking at that, that's, that's so that what is that? It's four, five, six, or it could be three, four, five. That's the two options. <laughs> I don't think that's six. I think that's six. That looks like halfway. So three, four, five. Like, yes, nothing. They're useless. Um, but yeah, financially, I'm guessing they are doing okay. Yeah, doing better than me financially. Population-wise, I have got the most. So that means, like, financially now, I might be less powerful, but in a few turns you know in 20 turns we will be absolutely dominating everyone financially because we have just such a huge population um, boon over them so taxes will start ramping up and up and up as these settlements get bigger and bigger wow we really exterminated palmyra didn't we wow <laughs> but yeah as these start getting bigger and bigger we should um be making more and more money from the old taxes so that's good so i think that's it, it guys uh, thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed please do remember to subscribe and like the video and um, thank you very much and i should see you again on the next video